We continue to hear more about the bird flu as doctors around the world are sounding the alarm. The global virus network says the virus has infected millions of birds and at least 70 humans, and it requires proactive surveillance. The U.S. saw its first bird flu death in a human earlier this year. We know most living things can live with this strain of bird flu, but it's proven to be deadly in some house pets, specifically in cats. Your Northern Colorado reporter Dylan Thomas shares how to keep them safe. Kittens, the furry friends many love to have by their sides or trotting around their homes. But now, the threat of the avian flu is causing many pet cats to lose their lives. We're doing the testing in our Biosafety Level 3 laboratory. Colorado State University's Christy Pavilonia and her students have been studying the avian flu. We've been dealing with this for a few years in the United States. Initially, it was largely isolated to poultry and dairy farms but has now shifted into the home. And that's concerning because we've been seeing very severe clinical illness in people's pet cats. It's rare for humans as of now to get this flu, but the cats that are getting it aren't faring well. The vast majority of cats, unfortunately, are passing away from the disease. These here are samples from cats that experienced neurological issues, like difficulty walking shortly before their deaths. CSU is helping Colorado and other states confirm whether or not the deaths were the results of the avian flu. Initially, the pet cats contracting the virus were living near or on dairy or poultry farms. But now, there is evidence of the transmission coming from exposure in even urban neighborhood settings. Most of the cats we're seeing have exposure to infected wild birds um, and or raw pet food. Including some raw pet food sold at the store. During this time, Pabalonia says it's best for pet cat owners to do a few things. Limit exposure to raw milk or pet food. Try and keep cats away from poultry or dairy farms. And, if possible, try and keep them inside. <laughs> As common birds like geese can carry this virus. As for the threat to humans... We know this virus can transmit to people. Although human infections have been rare, that is a possibility. In Fort Collins, Dylan Thomas, covering Colorado First.